At very early on in this campaign, I made a decision that I wasn't going to accept any money from a bank that could be doing business with the state treasurer's office. Uh, I think it creates a, a conflict of interest. It creates an appearance, at the very least, that, that can smell like pay to play. Uh, it's not good for the state. And I don't think it's good for the banks either. Who wants to be the one bank that didn't contribute if four or five banks are competing to get uh, a favorable decision from the state treasurer's office? And so early on in this campaign, I announced that I wouldn't take that money, uh, no corporate money from banks, no PAC money from banks, and uh, somebody who works at a bank, we're going to hold ourselves to a limit that's lower than the official limit uh, for what they want to give to my campaign. That was Pete Buttigieg when he was running for Indiana State Treasurer in 2010. I figured it might be uh, perfect to come to New York to shoot this video uh, since this is the home of Wall Street. And that was the first time that Buttigieg ever really acknowledged the influence of corporate money and particularly bank money on politicians. Now, what he would argue in response here is that the state treasurer's office is, is peculiar in particular in the sense that the state treasurer can manage the state's money and can hand it over to Wall Street banks so that if you take money from Wall Street banks, that creates uh, a really pressing conflict of interest in a way that doesn't exist with other offices. Now, that might be true, but the President of the United States has a bit more power over Wall Street than the Indiana State Treasurer. So if the logic applies to the Indiana State Treasurer, you would think that certainly it applies exponentially to the President of the United States. And the reason that this clip is so interesting is that Elizabeth Warren has been making this precise argument in saying that Pete Buttigieg needs to open up his fundraisers, he needs to release the names of his donors, and ideally he ought to stop taking uh, big money because it's creating an ongoing, what she called a conflict of interest, and that's precisely what Buttigieg himself said. Americans are just sick of the typical politician who says one thing out in public and then goes behind closed doors and doesn't want anyone to know what they're saying to the millionaires and billionaires that are funding this campaign. It is time for everyone in this campaign, including the mayor, to open up those closed door fundraisers and let the press come in. It's time to disclose who the bundlers are and who's getting special access. The American people have a right to know. Now he was pressed by a voter recently on a rope line and gave a classic uh, Buttigieg response to it. Uh, let's play that here. I think we have a real opportunity to clean this up uh, by tying both candidates' hands. So instead of me having to make a decision, can my campaign survive uh, my tying one arm behind my back and not taking this kind of money? Uh, let's let's not make that be a decision that any candidate has to face uh, and not put any bank in the position of saying, gee, did we give enough? You know, uh, let's just take it off the table. 